Hi everyone, and welcome back for another episode in my minimap series. And in this part, uh, we're going to fix a little bug, and then we're going to add a giant map to appear in the middle of the screen. Similar to how Fortnite and other, many other games do it. It's a feature that people have been asking me how to do, so I thought I'd do a video on it. But first of all, that bug fix. So someone highlighted to me there's a bug, and they're right, there was. And basically what it meant was when an enemy was on the screen, or an objective marker was on the screen, when it was removed from the game, uh, the icon didn't disappear. So we need to make it disappear. Okay, so it's a simple fix. All you do is go into our um, icon widget, so point of interest widget. And you want the tick event. So the tick event, we're going to check first of all whether or not our owner exists. If it doesn't exist we're going to remove this widget so grab owner and choose get then you want to right click on the get and you'll see convert to validated get and what this does basically means it will check whether or not this thing is exist in, in existence okay in memory if it's valid if it does exist we want to do what it normally does by moving it around and doing all this stuff um, however if it's not valid we want to remove it from the parent so drag out of owner and type in remove Oh, uh, da, da, da. why is that not working? Da, da, da. Oh, yeah, sorry, not valid. Remove from uh, from parent, and the target is self. That's right, not owner. Sorry. So we remove the icon from the game. Okay, um, and to test that this works, uh, if I put an NPC in there, like so. Um, and let's just go into our level blueprint and let's just say let's put a begin play and we're going to delay for I don't know three seconds and I want to remove this chap so I'm going to right click create reference just quickly doing this so you can see that it works so you don't have to go on blind faith so after three seconds, this guy will disappear, and his icon should too. There you go. And then that's that fix. So on to the main feature of today. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of all that stuff. Okay, so making the minimap uh, big in the middle of the screen. So all that is basically uh, another widget. So I'm going to go into create a new widget. So right click, user interface, widget blueprint. map widget and we'll open it up so this chap will leave as a canvas ca uh, panel but in there we'll add an overlay and I'm going to call this one big map overlay and I want to make it variable and in there we're going to put in an image so type in image chuck it in there and the image we want to use is the minimap uh, texture. We can use exactly the same picture. I'm going to change the size of it to 1000 by 1000. That's nice and big. And I'm going to make the overlay size the content. Okay. Um, okay. Now we need to make this appear in the middle. So all I'm going to do is change its anchor to the center, like so, and position X and position Y. Uh, oh, uh, position X, sorry, 500, oh, minus 500, and Y, minus 500, there we go, there we go, um, I'm also going to make it a bit see-through, um, uh, click on image, change the tint, the alpha to 0.5, so that's a little bit see-through, so you can see your guy through it. If you want to do it exactly like Fortnite style, um, you can access this in the brush settings, uh, which we've seen before, um, and you can change the alpha to when you're detecting the players moving. Okay, well, I'll let you guys figure that one out. Hopefully, you can figure that one out. So, we've now got the image um, to appear on screen, well, appear on the widget. We're now going to make it toggle the screen on and off. Okay, so for that, I'm going to go into my third person character. Or whatever character you're choosing to do. Okay, and I'm gonna use the M key. Uh, there you go. And we'll do a little flip flop, flip, and flop. 
and for this one I'm going to create widget choose the big one and add it to viewport okay so what flip-flop does uh, if you haven't seen one before um, it starts off with A and when next time it goes through it'll go to B then it'll go back to A then back to B it'll flip-flop between the two for every time it goes through it and you've got a little boolean value to detect whether or not it's in A so what we're going to do is when it flips it's going to do this but when it flops we're going to remove it so we go down here remove from uh, might have to drag it down from there remove from parent there we go okay and to test this out hopefully this works push the m key and it appears Whee. so the first job is to make it so that when the big map appears the little map goes away and vice versa so what we're going to do is go into our map widget go to the graph and we want the construct oh there you go uh, the construct and this will happen as soon as the map is constructed and when it's constructed we want to turn it to turn the minimap little one off so we're going to go here and we're going to go uh, do, 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 do get uh, cast to third person game mode which was the game mode we made previously we're going to get the game mode that we have currently running and from here i can access the hud widget and in turn the minimap widget and from that i can set its visibility to whatever i like and in this case hidden okay and what we're going to do is make it so it turns back on when the map is, uh, is disconnected disconnected is dis destroyed or destructed rather and that's an event called destruct okay and with destruct basically this triggers as soon as the map is removed from the parent so we're going to do exactly the same as this copy paste but we're going to change hidden to visible if we gave that a play if i push the m key it disappears it reappears simple okay um okay so the next bit is to make it so icons appear on the map so i'm just going to do the player icon um but it's pretty much exactly the same process for the points of interest um icons uh, which i'll go into later on so for this to work we need to go back into our map widget and when it's constructed we want to add the player icon okay so for this i actually want to do a sequence because i want this to do something this first and then create the player icon so sequence read that one first and then one we're going to do create widget and the widget it's going to create is going to be the player icon widget and we're going to add it to the overlay so drag it overlay add child to overlay and hook it all up so if we run this you'll see in the top left hand corner the little player icon so the next job is to make it uh, reposition itself so it's in the right place and move when the player moves so what we're going to do here is first of all position it inside the overlay so it's center center and it's top left we'll make it center center because that's where the zero zero is on our map so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and set uh, horizontal alignment to center and then drag out again set vertical alignment to center let's see what that looks like now yeah that's better so it looks like the icons now at zero zero which is good we can work with that 
and what we're going to do then is create a new function called update player icon okay and this is going to update the position of the icon on the minimap so on the big map sorry so this we have to do a little bit of maths again not as hefty as we've done before but um still still some maths so for this we're obviously going to follow the player so we're going to get the player character okay and get their location so get actor location and i'm going to split this so right click and split so i only want the x and y okay so next up we're going to uh basically our endpoint is to change the render translation so if i type in render translation here uh translation this is going to change its location on the on the widget okay so the widget is 1000 by 1000 because we made it earlier it's 1000 by 1000 so we need to convert its world units to the widgets units so the easy way to do that is we're going to drag out of x divide float by float and divide by 5000 because if you remember rightly that is the size of our world in units okay and we want to copy that and paste it down here and hook that up to y next up that we want to now times that by 1000 oh uh, foot by float times by 1000 because that is the size of our new map okay and then we're going to append that to a vector 2d so we're going to drag out of here make vector 2d and hook these up if i click play oh i forgot to add the actual function to the thing so once we've done the update player action uh, icon we need to add it to after the on the then one sequence once we've added the uh, child to the overlay and set the alignments we want to just uh, well, update the player icon well, actually no we don't sorry we're gonna put that on a tick there we go so we want to update all the time okay so when it updates all the time hopefully now that will move oh oh dear <laughs> uh, done the wrong thing uh so <laughs> update player icon uh we need to when we create the player icon set it first my bad it's been a long day promote to variable from the player icon widget and we'll save this as player icon okay and then update player icon the target is going to be there there we go so the player icon moves which is good however you notice it moves the wrong way now this is because the map is reorientated in this in this particular example so you just change and tweak the way it needs to be so obviously the bit, first issue is when i push up and down it goes left and right so that means i just need to swap these two around like so then i go back and have a look and see what else is wrong so if i pushed up it's going the wrong way and i push down it goes the wrong way left and right seem to work just fine so i just need to tweak the up and down so the y value which is this one simply change that to minus 1000 so it makes it negative and that hopefully will fix it so if i push up that seems to be all in order uh, another good thing to do and check with maps is to pick a point like a corner and make sure the icons follow the corner correctly like so and that's it that's how you do it um for player icon uh, um, player icon it's no issue but for the points of interest it's a bit more work because of um well i didn't think about doing this big map until people have asked me to it so i didn't think about it ahead of time but um what you need to do is change the point of interest widget all this stuff here 
this will need to be on a function called update uh, icon on the map uh, widgets similar to how we've done the update player icon you need an update POI icon okay um, and then what you're doing is when you're adding those to uh, this widget you know how we set the player icon here you do the same thing but you're adding it to an array of icons so you make an array of uh, points of interest and you keep them all up here and then when you remove them it moves from the array and yada so on and so forth okay I hope that makes sense um, I haven't, I'm not going to go through it now because it's a lot of work to go back and fix things up but if that's something you want to try and do by all means, I welcome the challenge and uh, see if you can figure it out. Um, if you, if people really do get stuck and don't know how to make the point of interest uh, widget icons move on the big map, then I'll, uh, I guess I'll have to do a video at some point showcasing how to how to do this. Okay. Um, thank you for all the support, and uh, if you have liked this video, please give it a like, share, and uh, follow this uh, channel. Uh, for future videos, I've got a big one coming up. Uh, a new series on in inventory systems. It's quite a large one, so it's taking me some time to prepare, so bear with me as I iron out all the kinks and make it as good as possible for you guys. Um, but thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.